<laughs> Miss First Guest tonight is the lead singer of Regurgitator, a band who also do a kids' show that has been described as the anti-wiggles, uh, which means their keyboard player is wide awake, their big car is blue, and they refuse to make $30 million a year. <laughs> Please welcome Khan Yeoman. <laughs> Miss Final Guest is a comedian whose first comedy show was called Sing Us a Song, You're the Piano, Anne. <laughs> And involved, <laughs> and involved her replacing the word man in songs with her own name. <laughs> what an Anne, what an Anne, what an Anne, what a mighty good Anne. Please welcome <laughs> Anne Edmund. Yes, yes, it was a good one. It was a good show. Please tell us more about that uh, show. I'm trying to think of Rocket Anne burning at a fuse up here along <laughs> yeah. one. Yep. Anne, I think I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> No? That's a bit wrong. Uh, there's a star, and waiting in the sky. <laughs> Did I go on? Or Did you sing the whole songs? Or? Yeah, whole songs. Oh, OK, Had right. Had a keyboard right. player the whole bit. It was, oh, it was right. shocking. It was... <laughs> <laughs> now, before we get stuck into the show, uh, Alex, I know you kind of got career advice from Cindy Lauper. Yes. OK, what, what did she tell you? Well, I did it to her... Um, a few years ago, opening for Blondie and Cindy Lauper, which was yeah. my God. pretty pretty cool. Oh my God! Um, <laughs> yeah, it was wild. And I met like Deborah Harry and Cindy Lauper, and she said to me, "Hey kid," and come up to me, <laughs> and she said, "You know, like to have a really long career in music, what you got to do is the moment that someone thinks you're going to take one turn down the path, you got to take the opposite turn. <gasps> and anyone who says to not do that, you tell them to." Off. Oh, <laughs> awesome. I love that. Wow. Cindy awesome. And now, of course, Khan, what, what, why did you decide to start doing kids' shows? Uh, I think it's a kind of a form of madness that you get when you become a parent. You need, you need some sort of outlet. Yeah. But kid audiences, are, they're just so... I find them impossible to read. Give me, like, a bunch of drunk adults, I know exactly what they're right. going to react to. If it's looking like the show's going down, I can just yell some cliché and they'll just come back. You know? Right. With kids, it's like poker-faced. Are they having the worst time in their lives? <laughs> or are they just going to go home and just explode in rapture? You just don't know. Yeah. Well, you must have done all right because the album was nominated for an ARIA Award for Best Children's Album. It was. The Pagogo Show. Um, my kids have gone off for it. Oh, really? They're I've done kids' background. shows before, and um, they're very honest. They're the toughest yeah. audience around, I reckon. And I did one, um, and a friend of mine had her kid there and came up to me afterwards, and I said, how did you like the show? And the kid looked at me and said, you're not as funny as you think you are. <laughs> 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 that went that deep. Cold. That went deep. Yeah. They can that be was so tough. cold, though. I was doing Sing Us a Song, You're the Piano Air. <laughs> 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 she was on the money. <laughs>